Welcome everyone to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. After about, I think, how many months ago did I last stream this? I think like eight months ago. I haven't streamed in a while. And also, the last time I played this game, uh, before this update dropped, was two months ago. <laughs> so, um, I am back with Animal Crossing on stream. And also, we're gonna be having a fun time because uh, I don't really have any other plans, like other games to stream. I mean, yes, there is Genshin, but at the moment there's no events. So, well, I mean, no events that are worth uh, streaming at the moment, so. But there, there was the 2.3 live stream for Genshin Impact, but uh, I'm not gonna talk about it. Okay, it's okay if I talk about it here, but, um, but, yeah, <laughs> I usually don't really want to derail too much on topics uh, if they're not related to the game. But I guess it's okay because this is a relaxing stream, so I guess I could talk about it. I don't know, there's quite a lot. And I did kind of cover it for um, the video that I'll be uploading, the VOD of the my last stream, so. Yeah, some of my thoughts in there as well, so. Yeah. Anyways, this is my island. I put down this glowing moss down. I just kind of scattered it. Kind of give it a nice effect. Also, it's been a while since I streamed my Switch. Because I haven't done this in, uh... Since, uh, I finished Nia Tui on stream. Oh yeah, I should visit my villagers and see if there's anyone making something. Okay, I'm gonna do some of the things that I forgot to do today. Oh yeah, my island theme. Um, island theme. Oh no, I never- I don't have this one. I apparently never got this one. Oh yeah, even after like over a year of playing this game, I don't have all the recipes. And obviously not counting the cooking ones because that's newly added to the game. But I am slowly getting more of the cooking recipes. But what is a bit disappointing is that I don't have wheat yet. I don't have the wheat. Or like the flour um, ingredient. And most of the cooking recipes I have requires flour. And uh, I'm kind of disappointed I don't have it yet. Uh, I hope I get it like next week or something. I'm not going to time travel. I don't want to deal with all that uh, stuff again. There's this gyro that I planted. <laughs> Boomoid. Okay, just put that in my home. Okay, where to begin? Okay, so obviously I haven't played... Okay, before the update I haven't played in two months because... Um, a lot of things go on, you don't really, like, play much of some games anymore for a while. And then when something happens, you go back into it, and, yeah. So this is my home. Oh yeah, and also, part of the update, we get, uh, you know, things on Harv's Island. So I, um, I got the couple, and, uh, I like how, um, they can, uh, change, like, the choice of like color the furnish eh. the choice of color on furniture that you can't change yourself and i really like that oh yeah this is a partition and oh yeah we can also do this and a lot of other things related to dlc as well the paid one which is like add a uh, little effects on furniture in buildings But yeah, I finally got different, like, the the type of furniture color I want 
on a lot of the furniture pieces and that makes me really happy. I still don't have peaches and cherries. I still have to get that traded with like, I still have to trade with people with that for that. Cause I'm missing those two particular ingredients. I mean fruit, not ingredients. Hello. Hey. I have to water my plants. Still remember, like about like two days ago, or was it yesterday? I forgot. Oh no, two days ago, I forgot to water my plants in the game. And I'm like, oh no. Okay, these are potatoes. I still don't have wheat. I'm hoping that I get wheat soon because I want to start making like a lot more recipes. No, I'm not playing with viewers. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Especially since I'll be doing the Happy Home Paradise stuff um, after I get some things done. Okay, no watering here. I still have to go on to my uh, other villager um, and uh, change your house. Whatever's crafting at this time of day. So let's see. Oh yeah, I think I haven't done this yet for today. Yeah, I haven't done this yet. I've at least been doing this every single day. Well, except the very first day when the update dropped. Because I didn't realize I could have done it by that point. And also it was like 10 p.m. when I did it, so like when on my game. So See what this island is today. I and mean, also this thing is can only be done once a day. Oh yeah, I do know that there are new villagers added. And I won't lie, I do kind of want Sasha, but obviously I have no plans to change my villagers anyway, so. should mention I've only had about like five and a half hours of sleep today <laughs> um, because okay here's the thing um so earlier um actually I had to start from the beginning so basically I play a game called Genshin Impact and uh, and today they uh, 
um, broadcasted the 2.3 preview um, stream. So, I wanted to watch that. Here's the thing, I live in the East Coast. The time when it happens is 7 o'clock in the morning. And... Um, so yeah, 7 o'clock in the morning. Thankfully I'm not in Pacific because Pacific time is even earlier in the morning. And uh, the thing about it is that... Uh, I woke up at 3.50 in the morning <laughs> because I couldn't sleep. Like, I, I really couldn't sleep. I was just thinking about the live stream and I'm like, I really want to know who would who's casted for Ito and also his um, character model in the game. And, uh... Um... Magic. Thanks for the follow. Anyway, so basically, my mind was stuck on wanting to see Ito in the Genshin Impact 2.3 stream. Um, preview stream. And uh, because of all that pressure in my brain, like, thinking about it, I couldn't really sleep, so I did- I went to bed around 11 because I always sleep late. And, uh... I ended up waking up at 3.50 because... why not? And I try to go back to sleep, at least get two more hours into my sleep time. Okay, I'm just gonna press B through this. Okay, I don't think that works. People say you can press B. Anyways, I might as well keep explaining. Um, so yeah, I woke up at 3.50 in the morning. I didn't even know it was 3.50, but because I had to turn on my phone since I don't really have a clock in my room anymore. And I was like, oh great. Because there was still like, if it was 4 o'clock, um, like it would have been like still 3 hours before the stream. So I tried to go back to bed. It didn't work, so basically I just laid in bed with my eyes closed, trying to sleep for two more hours before I went like, I give up, I'm gonna get up, it's already like 6 in the morning, I'm just gonna go on Genshin and uh, prepare for the stream because of the code drops and all that. So yeah, I did that. And uh, yeah, so I'm technically running on 5 hours of sleep today because of all that. Okay, technically, was it five hours if I didn't sleep for like two of those hours? Okay, actually, no, it is about five hours. I did try to sleep for one of those hours, so. Okay, what else am I doing? I don't remember, what else should I do? Oh, yeah, the coffee. Let's get our coffee. Because I do have boost around the island. Ito is still fishing. But yeah, I am running on five, five, five and a half hours of sleep. Uh, it's not fun. I feel like I'm gonna be extremely burnt out by the time it's 5 p.m. today, though. <laughs> Although, I don't, my sleep schedule is weird because some. Because even without the time change, I usually have like six, seven hours of sleep, and it's not fun. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's get our coffee. Uh, I didn't expect to get this today. <laughs> um, I'll just, uh, sure. I don't know what that means. I literally saw someone on Twitter take a screenshot of that very option, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> also, to note, I don't drink coffee in real life. I never did. I never tried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not expect to get that option today. I saw someone get it earlier. Okay, 
Okay, sorry about that. I just abruptly moved, eh, muted because people won't be quiet in the house. They have to know I'm streaming. Anyways, we got our coffee. Oh. A recipe for... Oh. Okay. Okay, what does it... What does the DLC really include this funny? Um... Okay, so the pay DLC... Okay, I kind of didn't really read the thing when I got the DLC. I just saw it and I'm like, everyone's trying it out. <laughs> um... But I do know it does have like this whole like... Um, island creating va vacation home stuff. And uh, as you progress through it, you unlock stuff that you can use on your main island here. Um, and uh, one of them includes like polishing furniture. Um, as far as like the things I've unlocked with it. So I got the polished furniture thing, which is this, pressing L. And I did unlock these. The last thing I've unlocked was, uh, the... what's it called? Like, the pillars and the uh, island counter, or... yeah, these. This was the last thing I've unlocked from the thing. Oh, and also partitions. But that was, like, a while back. Anyways, I think I've covered everything I usually do. Hopefully, no random people are talking in the background because I kind of get mad every single time people get so loud in the background. Because even though, even though this microphone, it doesn't look like it's picking up anything, it actually is very easily, and it annoys me. Like, I know there's a way to, like, take out noise in the background, but... But the way I talk, like, how quiet I am, it's, um... Like, m the... M okay. I have tested settings before in the past to, like, see if I could remove noise in the background. While it does work, the way I talk, it always cuts me off, like, because I talk so softly. So... It can't really work. Unless I really have to shout, so. Because I remember watching old footage of me, like, tr testing out the settings. And, uh, why well, I have moments where I'm the clearest? Um, even though I have moments where I sound really clear, there's also the unfortunate moments where I'm, like, hearing myself talk, but the beginning or some random parts in the middle are just, like, completely cut off, and I'm like, oh, gosh. Let's use some cafe, because I also noticed that, like, other clients appear in the cafe. I haven't gone in the restaurant yet. I think I could also do that. Okay, I named the cafe Sunny Days. I forgot to put things away when I was on my island. I can get a lot of these things. I'll get this later. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll buy some things later. Because we're now going to go to work. building next to it is the school. Oh yeah, I should show that off. I will do that in a bit. Oh, something. Oh! Oh, interesting. Okay, let's go check that out. 
because I think I could spare things. So it's over here, I think. Does it say what it say? A little wood and as many tree branches as I can get. And 30 tree branches. Let's see if I have any. First, let's see if I can put things away. I forgot to do this stuff. I think I need to go back real quick. Because <laughs> I want to sell some of these things. to put things away but I want to sell things so <laughs> I had to go back in the meantime I did think about talking about something else but I don't know what to talk about anymore I mean I would talk about Genshin but I don't know if that would be interesting to hear me talk about because I mean if anyone wants to hear my thoughts after the 2.3 live stream that I um, lost sleep hours for it because I really wanted to watch it. I mean, at least I don't live in the Pacific Coast because when the stream aired for Pacific, for PST, it was 4 a.m. So, I'm glad I don't live in that time zone. <laughs> sell things I will definitely use. I need space to get branches. Oh, that would. Oh wait, I should. Okay. Is there squad? So many thoughts from like the Genshin 2.3 stream that like for like the video I'll upload tomorrow because I streamed Genshin yesterday and I had to I have to edit in my thoughts a little bit there. Like it's only like a small like bit of my thoughts. Um six minutes ish of it. There is so much like and there's a lot that I don't know where to begin. I will say that when I was just looking at Twitter, see people's reactions to a character named Arataki Ito, I may have thought his comb, because he has like a comb, like combs his hair animation, based on what was seen in the stream. And I thought his comb was like a weapon for like, for like some reason, two hours after the stream. Because I was still very tired from waking up super early. And I thought I was like, why is he- wait a minute, and... So that was like the highlight of my day. <laughs> I thought he was holding a random weapon in his hand when it was a comb. I still play Genshin, at least for like doing commissions every day. Because I don't want to spend so much money just to get characters I like. And also with Genshin, I have made it my goal to collect all the uh, male characters in the game. Unfortunately, I am missing two of them because I didn't get them yet. Anyways, a lot, of, a lot was shown on the 2.3 stream that I'm excited for, but also I have to be mindful that I'm still like taking classes. I mean, it is- thankfully the update happens, um, when there's like two weeks left for my classes. Like, based on when, like, how they've done things so far with scheduling. 
um, updates. But that still means I have to focus on my classes for two more weeks. explain this because it's in like it kind of requires some knowledge of like a character but uh the uh, 2.3 stream kind of has something that I'm very scared about like okay it's kind of weird because I'm okay with what might happen to the character like in terms of like their morality um which means like if they're you know good evil or somewhere in between but it's also like um, I'm more scared about something else related to it, but I'm also having, like, kind of, like, like, hope that it's not gonna be the case, because what they're doing is, like, this is a storyline that is time-limited, and it wouldn't make sense to, like, do something serious on something that's, like, time-limited. Because it's, like, what if someone plays the game, like, let's say, months from now, and, like... They don't have access to the story anymore because it was only available during this update and it's like I just find it really bad that they would do like do something very serious in it, and it's like in the future no one will get it and yeah. Yeah. I'm also very mindful with how much I spend on Genshin. Uh, because I only- I don't want to, like, wail on banners. Like, spend, like, 300 or something uh, in the span of, like, a week just trying to get a character. I'm trying my best not to do that. Which is sort of why I was like, okay, I'm probably only gonna get all the Genshin males because apparently <laughs> there is not a lot of guys in the game. And that- the kind of- the, a bit of a benefit for that is that that means I have plenty of time to save. Especially since, like, before, um, um, Toma dropped, uh, like, was released. Like, before Toma was released, there was, like, seven new girls added to the game. I think. Yeah, so there was six actual characters related to the story of Genshin, and then the crossover character. Um, I don't know if I should count her, because the crossover and all that, but... And in terms of, like, playable characters, I will count her, um, so, like, there were seven girls added. And also, obviously, I did get the, yeah, the crossover character spree. So I did. Obviously, do have her. I don't. I don't actually know much about the game she's from, though. I have seen it before, but I've only seen like probably like the first two, three hours of the game. sure my computer's awake because if I leave my computer asleep um or like untouched like OBS starts to glitch the audio and that happened before and I need to make sure that doesn't happen oh I do have enough branches okay let's go back now really want to start doing the happy home stuff again I actually skipped yesterday because I wanted to, to actually stream this but anyways, I am looking forward to uh, update 2.3, but I also have to focus on uh, obviously my classes. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for 2.3, but the trailer, the second half of it, makes me so terrified because there's a character, like, one of my characters, um, one of the characters in the game is one of my favorites, um, Albedo. And I got him like... 
guys do that. I don't know how to explain it. For me, it feels like too many things at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I know what game, um... I know what game that character is from. Yeah. Anyways, um, as I was saying, um... I said there's a character in Genshin named Albedo. I like Albedo. Um... When I got Albedo, um... Like, it was actually the luckiest I've been in terms of uh, banner pulls because it was like sometime before I started spending money on the game. And. Okay, first let me do this. Oh, I have branch. Nah. at least start this before I continue talking. Oh, yeah, I should play this too. Oh, wait, I think I want to craft... Okay, I think I could craft these uh, two particular things. At least once. Okay, I don't think it's too necessary, but I want to do this anyway. Why I should craft a lot of things at least once so I could um, decorate places. Because I'm at a point where I can actually use uh, um, hand, the, the stuff I made with DIYs. Okay, let's go work. Wait, can I do this one thing? Oh yeah, I, uh, I forgot. I had the option to create either a restaurant or cafe first. So I, I want to make a restaurant. See that. Okay, first, let's go through all the dialogue because it'll take a while <laughs> to like decorate. Okay. Ulu. Okay, not too blue. get this started before I continue talking. Dining hall and kitchen. Okay, let's work on kitchen first. Okay, I think this is a good point for me to continue what I was talking about. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, so anyways, um, okay, where do I begin with, um, what I want to say? Here's let me. Wow, that's interesting. I think I'll 
that's nice. Oops. Anyway, so basically the 2.3 trailer, the second half scares me a little bit. Um, I feel like it's okay for me to explain at least some of it. I don't know. There's obviously no spoilers yet um, because obviously the update hasn't released. Um, so it's just speculation. But I will say that, um, okay, so there's this character named Albedo in Genshin. And, um, actually, he's one of my, uh... Actually, one of my favorite characters in the game. And I do have him, um, from his first banner because I started playing in December, on December 10th, um, 2020. And... And so, basically, when he was first released, obviously I did his story quest and the event that happened at that time. And, uh, how do I miss about this? Um, like, obviously there's something about Albedo that is, um, Um, how do I put this? It's really hard to put into words because there's a lot, like, of mystery around him. But, like, there's something going on, like, with him. Something, uh, very suspicious. And it's very much hinted, um, at the end of his story quest as well as the first event he appeared in. And... And now we have, like, this event go- Like, that's going to happen in, uh... And we're going- eh. And we're going to have this event that's going to happen in 2.3. And it's making me nervous. And also some, some random person that I saw on Twitter reminded everyone of, like, this one tweet that was made. And I'm like, oh no, please don't remind me. So I'm gonna pretend I don't remember that tweet because of reasons. And basically the trailer kinda is implying something really um not fun is gonna happen. Something sad. And I'm like, oh no. Of course we don't know anything yet. So a reminder, no nothing is known yet. We don't know anything. So, well, I mean, no one knows anything as of the stream, just in case, because I'm going to upload this VOD in the future, um, or rather this weekend. So I have to make sure, like, just to be, just to point out, we don't know anything yet, kind of thing. And basically, in short, I am scared as to what may happen, what might happen to him. Um, one, one thing that's making me not, like, think too much, like, be too worried, is the fact that, uh... It's the fact that, um... I can't try to remember what you're trying to say. But, like, what's making me not too worried is the fact that this is an event storyline. They didn't say this is Act 2 of his story, um, quest or anything. They said nothing like that. Um. Like, this is Act 2. Um. Like, I'm... They didn't say anything about Act 2, so that's, like, why I'm certain that... That, like... Nothing too serious is gonna happen. But I am still worried because it's like, even if that's not the case, like something's going to happen. In a way, I'm all down with like something like, um, possible corruption arc happening. Like, I'm fine with that. I'm just more like concerned about the more serious of like things. So.
Yeah, that's like the lead, like, yeah. It's weird how they make two stopes. Anyways. I'm trying to figure out how to decorate this is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. I just realized oops. I just realized I just derailed from what I was trying to talk about. Um Guess I'm trying to figure out what item to put down. Okay, give me a second. I want to figure this out. Anyways, back on topic a little bit. So yeah, I am nervous about what might happen to a character, but um, the reason I'm not completely like worried is because I don't think they would do something so serious on a uh, on an event storyline, which which also does bring the question: is like, why do they make these time limited events? Because like. You know, later future players won't be able to play them and it's like gonna suck for them. I don't know why they make that choice, but it's more like just like play them before they're gone at that point. <sighs> when I do that by accident. I, I do have joy conjure by the way. <laughs> but it's not too much there, thankfully. see what is best put Let's see Oh, I can't do that. I was thinking if I could turn these completely around. I think that's good. It could work. different 
fish fishies. It's a water pitcher? I thought this was something else. I need to fix myself on the chair. Yes. Add some decoration. How many different versions are there for this? Okay, not many. just so exhausted because like I'm not too exhausted but like anymore but I am so exhausted because of staying up so late I mean not so late yeah great the fact that I only had like five and a half hours of sleep is starting to get to me not good not fun
I don't know. I don't know how restaurants work. I haven't been in one in ages. Because of obvious real life reasons. I don't know, I just picked this there is like. Let it clip through the uh, other thing. I think I'm good for now with the kitchen. I don't know. It'll probably stay like that. I am really bad at decorating. I have tried. Or I have tried to also talk <laughs> while doing this. It's kind of hard to focus on many things at once. Okay, let's at least put a window down. Ooh, I like this. Perfect. Anyways. Okay, is there anything else to talk about? Hmm. I'm still on the ceiling. Okay. Should we make this? Why is the lights on that? This will be enough space to work with. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to shrink it. It doesn't seem too small, so let's stick with the big one. Can at least do that. Okay, let's see. So we do need a... Where is it? Uh, oh, 
towards the counter. What's this? That makes sense. I guess it does. <laughs> okay, I'll just stick with that. <sighs> okay, so next is tables, I guess. side. You know, I kind of wish I, like, talk a little more here, but I'm trying to concentrate and it's so hard to do s multiple things at once. See if people can walk through here. Okay, they can. Gosh. Ah, uh, my Joy-Con. My right Joy-Con is the one with the drift, by the way. I forgot. Drift. Because <laughs> I just realized I never mentioned that <laughs> at all during the stream yet. Drift. Not fun. Wait, is this a low table? I wasn't paying attention. It's a bench. Oh. I think the only thing on my mind today is just the Genshin stream because 
Well, I mean, obviously it happened today, and... Like, it happened today, and dirt is a lot, and that... Uh, I'm excited? I'm, I'm excited to look forward to, but at the same time, I'm scared? So it's kind of a mix of, like, multiple things in my head. the tables. Okay. Add things. That. There we go. change this What's the best chair? Mm. Okay, give me a second. Okay, and my nose. Hmm. I can see the perspective with my character looking around. Just turn off the lights. Okay. I think this is the best kind of chair I could get. Obviously, I know there's a requirement at the top here, but I want to put more, more of them. Let's get our kicker out for a perspective. Okay, yeah, move. <laughs> move these. Otherwise, they won't move around. That'd be awkward.
Wait, no, I shouldn't do that. Otherwise. Table here. That feels like it will make more sense. These tables. Oh, never mind. I don't. Oh wait, no, they're too big. Those are big bowls. Let's try and sh change some of these. To like smaller plates so it doesn't look too off. It is so lovely. So tight space, though. I feel like I should just combine these. Oh, right, decoration. I almost forgot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I'm not even in design mode. Almost forgot. That would have been bad. thinking about I guess it's gonna be a bit of a story you know for a while now I keep thinking a lot about like the past which is kind of weird I don't know I've just been thinking about stuff and like one thing I just remember is that into words because I don't remember too much about it. I'm just remembering how, like, annoying people can be when, like, you're in grade, um, when you're, like, in, um, middle or high school, like, people are definitely something to deal with. <laughs> Back then, you know, when kids are kids and all that. I don't know, for some reason I keep thinking about, like, something, and I'm like, you know, I'm glad I never met these particular people again, because, like, I never liked them. They were probably, like, the worst kind of people I could ever meet. Um, but 
in the sense of like there were there were people who weren't my friends at all and they just like bothered me to no end. And one thing I am so glad about is that I have not met them again since like high school. Okay, technically we haven't obviously haven't talked at all like from high school during high school, but I'm so glad I never have to see them again. I am so glad. Like a bit of a blessing. check through this. Oh, plant. But anyways, as I was saying, so like, yeah, I don't know, just something I've been thinking about because like, there are times where I'm like thinking about the past and I'm like, oh gosh, I'm so glad I never had to deal with this again, kind of thing, you know? And I'm just having one of those moments where I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I don't have to deal with this. Because <laughs> I will say it was not the greatest time uh, I really, really don't want to remember it. <laughs> Anyways, um... on that handle. Okay, let's do that again. Hmm. Need a bit of a drink. Okay, that's probably good. I think I'm good here. Okay, I think we're finally done. Kitchen's good, so it's fine. <laughs> I finished. Oh yeah, I just remember the exterior's blue. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's see. I should have gotten more people. But that is fine. Can I see here? Actually, no, let's put back. Else who didn't get the job. Okay. I 
should probably definitely like move more people into vacation homes so I could have more of a roster to pick from. Oops, I did not mean to change member. <laughs> Decisions. It's not working. Oh wait, I should check like the other things. Most of my shirts. <laughs> Why do I keep misclicking? Uh. blue one. Okay, now I have to scroll through this again. Oh, it's only been an hour. <laughs> Well, let's give a name. Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna just throw the name out here. Just to be the exact opposite of the cafe. <laughs> Lunar gaze. Yes. <laughs> I just came up with this literally 
just within the <laughs> 10 seconds ago. decorate ourselves. And I hate when I'm like doing all this stuff and I'm just quiet because I like to talk while I'm doing this, but I have to concentrate because I can multitask. Oh, it's sad times. Maybe get closer so I don't have to move the camera all the way to one side. Screenshots tend to be blurry on Switch. in daytime because last time I did the cafe at night time and it was like okay <laughs> okay it's perfect 
How many screenshots have I taken from just doing all this, like, DLC stuff? <laughs> I must have done so much. Okay, I'm just skipping through this. <laughs> Can I keep working? No, I can't keep working. I literally just made a restaurant. I want to at least like do two houses. Hey, give me a second. Yeah, my nose. And this is just acting up. I hate it. <laughs> And also, there's clients inside the cafe and... Oh, I have some in here. Clients in the cafe and um, restaurants as well. That's cool, though. No, not my custom designs. showed you guys like who I've got in here hairstyle that I got for my uh, character here. <laughs> I forgot to mention that because the last time we were streaming, like, it had, it was different, obviously. And, uh, I got this from, like, being on Harv's Island from the, uh, one of the people there. And I was like, it's cute, I'll keep it. So, that's why I have it now. <laughs> Because I'm working. <laughs> I can walk behind the counter. Poppy, please move. I guess I can't get anyone if they're eating here. But I can at the cafe, which is interesting. Oh, no, I can. Never mind. I just had to get closer to them. So, hi. I could talk to you. Hello, you're like a new person from the update. Yes. Even if you're not gonna be on my island, I might as well get you here. <laughs> you literally just appeared here today. Moonshot Manor. I have no idea what that's gonna be like. Well, we'll find out because we're gonna make the, the vacation home. I guess a mountain would make sense. Or, you know, fitting. Or something like this. Ooh, maybe this. Let's use this one. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my god, he's adorable. I can understand why a lot of you probably want him as your villager. Yeah, he's a lazy villager. Please. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll change the 
setting to like nighttime or something. I have to move it. Um, I'm not doing stuff like that, though. I am messing with DLC. DLC content. Figure out the door. Yes, that'll work. I hate when I can align with the bridge. Let's see what I could do in the inside. I don't know how I usually do these. I usually do them. It depends on the house, or I mean, whatever. Like if it's like, um, interior first or something, I don't know. So cute. She should see what their furnishings are here. Oh gosh, this is gonna take a while because this is quite the theme with all these things. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So let's decorate the outside first. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. Okay, I probably just repeated that like five times now. <laughs> I mean, he's a new villager and he actually is really cute. Wait, don't change season. Change the time of day to night. Perfect, perfect atmosphere. I love the daytime. You know what, let's leave it daytime until we've actually decorated everything so I can actually see what I'm doing. I mean, it's not that dark, but I should probably... Thank you. 
mix colors um, for like these decorative things. All these ones blue and white. I, got it. I just want to talk about like I just want to talk about Genshin so much. Same time. Actually, no, there's not really much I could talk about with Animal Crossing. Oh, let's go for the pavement. I am one thing. Okay, so, again, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, I play Game Pokemon Impact. And today was a 2.3 premiere, um, update premiere stream. And of course I actually, I live in the East EST time zone. So, well I stopped pressing it, plus. Anyways, I live in the East EST time zone, so I actually woke up early just to watch it. And it's actually a normal time, but the time I woke up was not normal. It was literally, if I may add, I woke up at 3.50 in the morning because I couldn't sleep because I was like, I really want to know the voice actor for this character. And I did. <clears throat> Basically, I woke up really early today and it was not fun. Okay, it was worth it, but I'm s feeling the effects of exhaustion as we speak because I'm kind of still tired. But I also wanted to stream and have fun, so that's why I'm streaming today. <laughs> it was more of a case I didn't expect myself to wake up this early. <laughs> oh yeah, and also, um, in Genshin, one of the... I don't know if I mentioned this in the stream, this stream itself, but um, one of the new characters coming in 2.3 uh, named Arataki Ito. His, um, okay, I play with the English voices in um, Genshin because I don't want to like read um, all the time. And uh, I'm mad and I always miss the dialogue a lot because I don't pay attention if it's in a different language. <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, and in the English dub, um, Ito, um, the voice actor is, uh, Max Middleman, and that is awesome. He fits him so well. <laughs> And also, now that I think about it, I can finally watch MMDs again without fear of seeing his Ito's character model early because everyone kept sharing it. <laughs> um. And I'm also hungry right now.
can't wait for 2.3 so much. And again, at the same time, I am terrified. Because of reasons I explained earlier. But to kind of alleviate some confusion, I am so down with what's going to happen. I'm actually like interested in what's going to happen but i'm also terrified in the sense that i'm not sure what this will mean for my favorite character so yeah if i had explained it as vaguely as possible Wait, no, dead. i wish i could change it Change the color. No, I didn't mean to. I hate when I do that. Picture will be right there. <laughs> okay. That doesn't look right. Oh, I should put the floral um, plant stuff. I should probably do that. I don't know why I didn't do that. What kind of bushes are nice? I'll put this one, and I am there. I almost forgot plants existence. <laughs> so sad. To be fair, I feel like my memory is just slightly bad today because I woke up so early. Could go inside. Perfect darkness. Oh, this looks so cute. I love it. Okay, I need to get comfortable again. That's adorable. Perfect. Anyways. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Like, perfect. That's strange. Anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, I just realized I never once mentioned this in any of my streams. I hate how I feel this. 
But, um... Okay, so last week... Um... Wait, was it last week? The week when, um... The banners in Genshin changed. So last week, when the banners changed... Um, before that, like, on... The Tuesday of... That... Okay, technically Tuesday the, uh... Second, I think? I forgot what day it was in the calendar. Oh yeah, it was November 2nd. Halloween was Sunday this year. Um... Anyway, something I remember, I don't know why I forgot about this, even though I told myself a million times that I would talk about it on stream. So, oh gosh, drift. Anyways. Anyways, so, like, on the November 2nd, I actually went on Disney Plus to watch a, um, like, to watch the Star Wars Visions, um, thing that's on there. And if anyone doesn't know that, which I would be pretty surprised about, Star Wars Visions is basically, I think, seven different Japanese studios making shorts, um, I think two studios made two uh, two shorts each, um, because there are nine uh, shorts, and I decided to watch it because one of the studios that animated um, two shorts, I didn't even know they made a second one, um, but they made two shorts um, called Studio Trigger. I watched it because of that, because of them, and. And what's interesting is that, okay, they made two shorts, but one of them, which is called The Twins, I think, used mm, the art style that is most common in their works. And that is why I watched it. And obviously, I knew that The Twins specifically one. well, technically people say both of them, even though it's mostly one of them. That, uh, they, there's a lot of, like, aesthetic similarities to a movie that Studio Trigger made called Premiere. And, okay, I don't want to go into, like, a whole explanation of what Premiere is about, but I watched that movie myself, um, in 2020. I actually remember when, which is, like, July of 2020. And I enjoyed it, obviously, um... It's, uh, it's one of my favorites out there, and, uh, basically, um, okay, to also point out, I did watch every single short, um, all the shorts in Star Wars Visions. I watched them all because I want to appreciate all the different art styles, along with the little stories that are being told. But here's the thing, um, so obviously I watched the one by Studio Trigger called the Twins, and I was aware of... The characters and the aesthetic of the whole thing being similar to a lot of Studio Trigger's works, specifically Premiere, but uh, I never really paid too much attention on what the twins look like. So when I actually watched it, and when, uh, anyways, so when I actually watched it, I was um. Okay, it was pretty obvious to know that it was going to be the case, but when I actually see it, I, it was hard to believe that the male twin looks almost exactly like a character from Promare. Um, if you know, you know, because I'm not going to say it directly. Um, like, I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, I mean, I knew of, you know what I mean. And, like, I knew this was the case, but to actually see it, I was like, oh my god, the similarity 
he the male twin looks almost exactly like the character from premiere except for his eye color and clothes and his voice actor <laughs> and it's not bad but it's like you like he looks almost exactly like him i can't i don't know what else to say to that he looks almost exactly like him Yeah, that is something I will not forget because I'm like, I like how it's just like, I knew they were, I knew like the whole like look similar kind of thing, but I didn't know he looked that similar to the point of almost be looking like the another character. I did not expect. I mean, I kind of, okay, I get, I kind of expected just because like, um, of like, you know, the obvious reason that I've seen people talk about it, but <laughs> I never really paid too much attention the first time. Okay, let's see, is there any speaker thingy? <laughs> oh dear, we're gonna be here for a bit. <laughs> Radio. Uh, no. No, that's the pillow. There we go. Let's put one outside too. Anyways, that was like something I remembered. <laughs> Hang on, I do like Primerda, and I can't get over. I like I knew the like similarity thing, but I didn't expect him to be that similar. In appearance to another to another character already present in. Here. So that's not the picture. Right here. Perfect. And this is done. Yes. Okay, I'll have time for like one more after this. And then I'll call it. anything and then I'll call it a stream.
See that one. Not really so much, is there? No, I removed it. That's fine. Let's see. Maybe something cute. Oh, I didn't realize this. Pressed the wrong button. Oh my god, how many times have I misclicked in my entire time of playing this game? No, don't move. What are you doing? No! Get back here. Stop that. So we take this picture, you're not moving. Okay, one more. We'll do one more for today, and then I'll wrap it up. Oh, something. Oh, got it. Friend of me. Hello? Okay, what's this?
Okay, I think I'm gonna be the, well, sort of, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna explain this. <laughs> because I want, because I, you know, just literally decorated some places, so, you know. I like how the cat is being. one I talked to. Oh, okay. I don't know. Let's uh, let's get this uh, person potential random meetings. Oh, 
Okay, this is what I did to the place. Oh dear, that's gonna take a while. Okay, we'll keep the outside the same because I don't want to redecorate it, so we'll just do the inside. to move a lot of things. Move half of this here. Oh dear, this is gonna be a while. Oh, this is gonna take a while. I feel like I should just take everything out and figure it out. That would probably help. <laughs> like, much, much more. I wish I could align it in the center, but I can't. Okay, now that I keep thinking about it, because, um, okay, as I mentioned, um, like, Genshin, um, new update coming up, I, Oh, why 
why does this floor look so tasty? <laughs> it is chocolate-like, so it makes sense. But anyways, um, I was gonna say, so, um, because, like, we, um, for, like, Genshin, upcoming Genshin 2.2.3, um, I now know that's the voice editor for uh, an upcoming character, and that makes me so happy, um, but also, um, also, I like how some comments of people being like, oh, well, same voice actor, and, like, is, like, Cookie Run, um, has a dub. And people are like commenting the because you know Max Middleman voices a uh, red velvet cookie, so people are like, "Oh wow, these two have the same voice actor." <laughs> oh yeah, interestingly enough, I actually got a red velvet cookie at. Uh, when did I get a red velvet cookie? I don't know when I got him, but I got him at some point. And I was like, like after like the dub uh, in. Cookie Run was released. So yeah, <laughs> and of course I I, be, I mainly know Max's role as Ryuji from Persona Five more, so that's a uh, something. Oh my God, I cannot wait. <laughs> Can I wait for your version? What's the version again? <laughs> version 2.3. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Okay, I may have, should probably have not like or got rid of all the furnishings. So, but it might help better, so it's a good thing I did so I could have better visual of what I want to do. Ow, my ear. so I could actually scroll without bumping into stuff. Somewhere close. <laughs> uh. Wait, what are the different color variations? Oh, just that. Maybe we should keep this as the this. Move. really colorful here because it, it would fit the theme better. Yeah, but the fruit bask 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. I did not mean to get two of these. Okay, let's see. Another carpet. Oh no, 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 no. Let's get the this one. Oh no, we should have an apple. I didn't mean to make Okay. No. I just remember something from a game I played. I don't know when, I think the April to June of 2019. I just remembered something about the game I played around that time. And it is probably like... Like easily one of my favorite games, or starters. And... I just can't forget, like, one particular thing about it. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but basically... Okay, the game in question is called, uh, Zonky Zero, and it's a game that... Um, how do I begin with to explain this? Because it's kind of hard to explain the game because there's, you know, obviously spoiler stuff. And I had to figure this out. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Got my legs. Um, but um, yeah, I'm just like okay, basically there's this game called Zunky Zero, one of my favorite games. And um It's like one of my favorite games and one thing I remember is that uh, there's this moment in the uh, like there's this part of the game where okay so okay I had to actually give some background information about the game so the game it has um, these uh, Then I think, but I have no idea how to explain it. But basically, this game—it's—it's it's a survival. It's a survival game with. Okay, it's not really a horror game, but it to me it does. It feels like one, and it has some. Um, it 
does feel like a horror game. And, uh, um, there are cease events, um, like optional events that you can do. And I have done them all in the game because they were available, obviously. And I have done them. And one of the events kind of is my favorite just because of how it played out. Um... So, like, what happens in it is that one of the characters sprains their ankle. Um, okay, actually, before that, I had to explain that. The game, it's a survival game, and death is okay in that game, by the way. Because in that game, you're playing... You're, you're in control of eight characters who are clones. Um, and they have an unlimited lifespan. Um, more or less. I will say the game over screen is pretty haunting. Um, like, if you, basically the game over screen is if everyone is, you know, in a death state and uh, you don't revive them. So, like, this game, um, okay, so the one of these, so basically death is okay where the characters could just, like, come back, um, they retain their memories, by the way, and, um, not to add to that, um, they, like, seven of the characters have a 13-day lifespan, or 16, I think, if you got the bonuses from deaths. Which makes the experience really interesting. Of course, I did not make use of the experience too much. So when I do play it again, I will have to be more active. Um, change up my choices. But anyway, so okay, now we can finally explain this one thing. So there's this one event in the game. Uh, again, the game has optional events. And, um, in this one, the character, one of the, the characters sprains their ankle, and, um, like, the character sprains, uh, his ankle, and he, um, he was told that he should probably, like, get it checked up. Okay, basically, one of the characters is actually a doctor, and, um, uh, yeah, I think that's all I could say about that character without spoiling it, um, anything. Because these characters have a lot of background to them that is very spoiler heavy. But anyways, this is an event that's lighthearted and not related to that. And basically to activate the, the event, they have to be at their, um, second stage in their lifespan. And, well, this character and another one. And, um... Oh, so basically he sprained his ankle and he was like, like, has to get that checked up. And it's like, okay, this is no, okay, so basically when the character's like, okay, this is no good, we have to get it checked up. So, um, he asks one of the other characters, another guy, um, in the, in the game there's, it's a balance of four guys and four girls. And they're all adults. Well, except for one who's like, implied like, oh my god, my computer. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. For some reason, my monitor keeps, like, blinking at random times. I don't know why. I wish I do, but I don't. Anyways, um, that's what I was saying. So, like, he asked one of the other characters, um, one of the other guys. Oh, yeah, I was trying to say one of the girls is... I... Her age is a mystery, but she's basically not old enough to drink, um, yet. Uh... Anyways, um, so, like, so he asked one of the, one of the guys to, like, the one who's also required to be at the second, um, it's a life stage. Like, he was asked to carry him to one of the rooms. Okay, so basically the event happens in an actual abandoned hospital. So basically, so, like, oh, can you carry him over there? It's like, why me? <laughs> 
And they both don't want to deal with that. <laughs> and, um... And, uh... Basically, he has no choice in the matter. <laughs> and he's like, ah, oh, fine, okay. Okay, stay still, I'm gonna pick you up now. And... I love you, but I think the this one particular track played when that happened, and I'm like, of all the songs they picked, they picked this one. Um, but... <laughs> Basically, the whole event is kind of a ship tease for those two characters. Um, pairing. Tease. <laughs> like, they're embarrassed by the whole thing happening. <laughs> but not just that, but also, like, um, literally right after that, one of the characters, um, basically who's also part of the event is like these uh, two, uh, girls, um, and one of them was like, I don't know what she said, I forgot, it's been years. I think I made a, I think one of the highlights I made on Twitch has it, I don't remember, but it's in there. Uh, don't check it because it's actually an event I played near the end of the game. So I don't recommend checking if unless you want spoilers. But anyways, um and what I can't get over is that uh she basically was looking at the uh she was basically seeing them, like looking at them like how like being like when them is being picked up and all that. And she's like, I don't know why, but there's something watching this like it's so basically precious <laughs> and it's so precious <laughs> it's what you said when watching like the whole thing happen and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> it's like you two are so precious and I I really forgot what she said after that but it was like probably like it made it one of my favorite moments in the whole thing and, yeah. Uh, and then, and then the girl is like, uh, and then the other girl is like, <laughs> reminds her that in a few days their lifespan is going to be at the fourth stage. <laughs> so it, it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but that, that was an amazing moment. Oops, I didn't mean to put that. <laughs> And also something about that is that, like, not the scene, but when I got that event, it was also on the same stream that I actually got, like, more events, like, unlocked, like, with, uh, affinity bonds. Like, with, like, bonding events in the game. And, uh, I, I was in the process of already unlocking, like, one of them, and, uh, Okay, so, oh my god, this is a, it's a lot to explain, but there's this, uh, I'm trying to check if I, no, don't do that, um, anyway, so, like, there is, in the game, you can also make the characters bond with each other, and there is 60, wait, how many, I don't know how many, there's, like, three per, like, normal bonding event, and then you get a unique, like, bedroom event, which is three as well. And, uh... And, um, how do I put this? Okay, I'm also done with the house, but let's check outside. Anyway, so, basically, the game has bonding events. Interesting enough, like, the second half of the bonding events are called bedroom events, which, um, yes, it's quite the name. Um, um, choice of words. And, uh, it makes sense because, uh, I mean, I, how do I put this? Please move. Oh, I. Never 
mind. I have to... I can't have this table. It's too big. Please move. Okay. Anyway, so basically, Zonky Zero has these, like, bond events, which are three, three normal events between two characters. There's a lot of events. I don't know how many there are in the game, but there is a lot because it's, like, for every single pot pair between characters. And, um... And, uh, because there's, uh, so many, like, different, um, setups to get bond events, um... I should put some decoration outside that's still... But anyway, so like, yeah, there's like two sets of events and um, basically what was that noise? But anyways, like, there's, um... How do I put this? There's one set of events that, uh... Okay, basically... The... Oh yeah, what I'm trying to say is that there's these bedroom events, and... I didn't get them all, but I got a few of them, because the... They, unlike the normal bond events, they come with pictures! And, uh... Interesting pictures, I'll just say that. Because <laughs> uh, I just realized I mentioned something earlier and I'm like, um, maybe I should just... Basically, okay, how we put it is, it's not like anything, like, bad. It's just more like something like between two characters, because, you know, they're, you know, they're adults. They, they can be friends. <laughs> and, uh, not, you know what I mean. Anyways. Anyways, I want to finish explaining this because I'm gonna conclude it soon. So, um, yeah, so basically what's, what is also interesting, like when I streamed at the time was said, I actually got to, like, complete the three bond events to unlock the, the subsequent events after. And, uh, I will say that in the English release, they did remove, like, the first stage images of the event. Which I'm okay with because it's not a big deal. As, uh, I can see how it can imply certain things. Um, even if it's not meant like that. And, but anyway, so, I basically unlocked one before I started the final chapter of the game. And I got a few more because I want to see everyone's pictures at least once. And, uh, I will say they were quite interesting. <laughs> um, especially, like, Oh my gosh. I don't want to remember my reaction, but one of the guys in the game, like, okay, basically, <laughs> as embarrassing as it is to admit a little bit, I did want to see, like, the, the events a lot, like, the pictures in the game, because when I saw the trailer, I was so curious about what the, two, specifically two of the guys' uh, pictures looked like. Um, on their second, um, stage, by the way, because, uh, um, reasons. And, uh, so, obviously, I bought, um, I got to this point, and on my stream, when I did get, like, the rest of the pictures, um, 
when I, like, the first picture I got on stream was, like, one of the characters I wanted to see the picture of because, um, the game kinda ex mentions how he's, like, really built. Like, has, like, muscle and all that. But you don't really see it in the game because you wear, obviously wear a shirt and all that. And... And literally, and I'm not kidding, because when I explored this one place, they literally they literally even mentioned it further by saying he's built like a boxer. <laughs> so, like, and also to add, he is one of my favorite characters, by the way, in the game. If I had to choose, like, among the eight characters, like, which one is my favorite? Um, because I like them all, um, despite, like, certain things happening in the story. Um... Anyways, yeah, for this kid, I got his unique picture, and I freaked out on my stream. I got so flustered, and, oh my god. I feel like when I streamed that back then, it was, like, on a day where, um, how do I put this? Oh my god, I don't know how to put this, but it was, like, on a day, like, on the day I streamed it, like, you know how, like, thumbnails... Oh, yeah, and now I know I figured out how to, to explain this. But, like, you know how, like, Twitch thumbnails, they kind of update after a while? Like, the thing is, I wonder if that the thumbnail updated to one of the pictures, so people actually watched that stream. Like, probably jumped on that stream after seeing those pictures, and I'm like, okay. What was amazing is right after I got that one character's picture, um... Is that a... Like, after I got that, um, someone jumped on the stream and it's like, I just got on here, what happened and what is this game? <laughs> it was amazing. Oh yeah, and also fun fact, um, if any of you play Genshin Impact, um, one of the characters in the game is voiced by Koi Dao, who is also the voice of Albedo in Genshin. I keep forgetting to mention that sometimes. I... Don't want to say which character it is, but it's... You know, I mean, it's pretty obvious if you look at the character roster. And they actually credit the voice actors in Zonky Zero. But, uh... It's the character with green hair in Zonky Zero. And I don't want to explain too much about him, because, one, I actually forgot his name. Um, and two... The character has an interesting... Job? Hobby? I I don't know what it is. Job, like, he he's an artist. As well, interestingly enough. But not... You're a traditional artist. Um, I don't want to say it on stream because I don't know if that's a good idea to say what he does. Um, but yeah, that's the character voiced by Goy in uh, Zonky Zero. <laughs> um, I like his, I like the character he voices, um, by the way. I like all the characters in Zonky Zero. They're all like unique in their own way. And I got really attached, not attached in a bad way, just like attached to this, like, they're really well designed characters. And I appreciate that. And, uh, anyways, so, yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. I really like the game. I might play it again on stream one day, but only if I really want to. I have no plans currently, but I should play it again so I could get more people to know that this is... That in that game... One of the characters is voiced by Koi, and I don't think a lot of people know that, which I, is kind of upsetting, because it's actually the first time I heard Koi in um, anything before, obviously way before Genshin and all that, so... Yeah, that's something I want to mention. Anyways, we are done decorating this. Okay. Oops, that's not what I meant. Um, I'm gonna make up a name because I am bad at names. Mm. 
fruity plush because it has plushies and it's fruity. <laughs> okay. About to wrap up the session in a bit after this. Didn't expect this, so I guess it also counted as like. Um, Sankey Zero, one of my favorite games. I do recommend checking it out if you're into the, um, mechanics of the game. Because it's a survival game and with, like, death. But not, like, in a bad way, obviously. Um, because in the game, like, you could come back. Like, as... Like, basically, it's a whole cloning, um, mechanic, so it's not, like, a, a bad thing. Okay, I'm trying to take this picture quickly. I forgot. <laughs> There's a specific place. There you go. I forgot I had to do this. to my island and then save and then I'll end it there.
it's pretty like kind of late. Yeah, I have things to do today, so I better like call it here. So, anyways, that'll be all for today's uh, stream. So I did like a little bit of my usual rounds in this game, and then did some happy home paradise stuff. I'm gonna save now because I'm gonna close it. And uh, I did talk a bit, although I did stop talking because I had to concentrate, so yeah. I think I'll do two more streams of this, or maybe one more, and then I'll just do art streams. Because I do want to take a break from recording um, videos, so. Especially when uh, 2.3 will happen in Genshin pretty soon, and um, obviously I'll be focused on that during my free time for like recording and stuff, so yeah. I can't wait for it though. Um, I am scared for a character, but I should probably put that on the back of my mind because I, if I keep that in my head for too long, it's going to distract me from actually completing other stuff, and I don't want that. That that wouldn't be very good, so, yeah. Anyways, that'll be a while from now, as well as, like, the new characters that I'm 100% getting. Can't wait. And, yeah. But anyways, for Animal Crossing stuff, I might stream this again on Tuesday, or maybe Friday. I don't know. Or Thursday. I'll figure it out. Um, you guys will know when you get the notification. But for now, that'll be all for today. So, yeah, I'll just leave it here. So anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.